Okay, this is one of our later projects. We're going to decide to do it while we're waiting for the Thunderbird parts to show up. We got part of the some of the parts here, but we need some other parts before we tear it apart. So, as you can see, T Bird's up on the hoist. Some of the bark parts ordered are for the brakes. Can't move it till I get the brakes fixed again. Anyway, in the meantime, it's kind of hard to get parts for that dude, and you gotta order them and then wait a month or so. It's not really that bad, but it's a week or two. So I went down to Kmart and I got this this thing here. I don't know what you call it, a storage plastic storage tray or something. I put a couple holes in it. I put one down here so I can put an inlet hose or outlet hose actually. It's the inlet hose to the modified coffee pot. Then the exhaust hose up here for the hot water. When you electroplate things it works better if the water is hot. So I'm going to do some copper plating. I went down to Goodwill and paid $7.99 for this coffee pot. This Mr. Coffee. But actually yeah, I got a 15% discount off of that. So so right around seven bucks. That's such a deal. I couldn't hardly refuse it. And I took the bottom out and I tapped into the heater's inlet and outlet hose. So this here is the inlet, which used to be the water that was in here that went in to make your coffee. And this used to be the outlet from the heater. And that used to run up as it perked and came down through your filter with the coffee in it and it made your coffee pretty fancy. Well, I've modified it so that it still gets this inlet water all right from here and then the water runs up when it's real hot, feeds back into the vat at this end. So you got your hot water coming in here and your cooler water coming out the bottom. This is a test. When we put our solution in there we're going to use copper sulfate to do copper plating. Put the solution in there, we'll run her up to about here and we'll level it out. But right now for the test we're just going to do it like you see it. First thing we're going to do with it is coat some of our lead bullets with uh, copper, copper plate them. And we're going to do that instead of going to the to the chemical supply company to get our copper sulfate, we got this stuff called root kill. We got that over in the plumbing section of the hardware store, about 10 or 12 bucks. That is going to coat a lot of bullets, let me tell you. And it's about a hair thickness is what that copper coating will be to, when we put it on there. So it's not very, there's not much of it, but it's enough to keep the lead from falling the barrels of your guns, which is what it's all about. If you make your own. And making your own is a lot cheaper now that Obama and Bloomberg or whatever, Bloomfield, whatever that guy's name is, New Yorker, has screwed up the supply of all the bullets and all the lead and that kind of thing. So you're kind of stuck with making your own. Probably have to make your own guns now. Probably need to get a 3D printer and do that too. But anyway, in the meantime, we'll just copper coat our own bullets. So now we're going to turn it on. And we're going to let her heat up and make sure that works. And I'll get back to you when she's perking. Okay, we're really perking now. You can probably hear that. We've got hot water running all over the place. Put the lid on. So it doesn't shoot any steam out and scald me to death. First thing always is safety, you know. That's what they say. We won't say too much about that though. If there aren't any underwriters laboratory guys watching this. Wow. Such a deal. Okay, we've been running about 20 minutes. And we're right at, I don't know if you can see that or not. I don't know if that'll focus, but we're right at around 155 degrees. A little too close, maybe if I back up and zoom, we'll see what happens. It's a little 
little better. That's plenty hot. I think 130 to 140 is plenty. You probably lose, don't gain much after that. I might put a thermostat in line here and uh, have it kick out at 140, something like that, and kick in at 130 or below. But uh, we'll think about that. Meantime, it's working pretty good. So far, so good. I gotta go tow Marlene's tractor in that she broke. So I got to go do that now, hoist something. And I gotta build the build the electro plates, electrodes for this. A couple of plates, of, well, one plate of copper and, and another another one of some kind. And then we'll finish this off. Sign off.